All right, let's run through how to set up your vent right after you've intubated this patient. So you've remembered this is your ventilator. You've plugged it into a power source in the back. You've plugged it into an oxygen source, usually on the wall or a tank. You've turned the machine on, and now this screen shows up. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you're in your volume assist control mode. You can see you're here at the top, it says volume assist control, so you're good. But let's say it wasn't there or it was asking you to do something. All you'd wanna do is go down to mode, press it, and these are all the different modes on the ventilator that you can choose from. Pressure assist control, volume, SIMV, etc. Keep it simple, volume assist control, which is the default in this ventilator, which is great. Remembering that every time you make a change, you have to accept. So mode, accept, and now volume assist control, you're ready to roll. The next step is, what are those parameters we talked about? The four essential parameters that you can adjust based on your patient. They're gonna be down here at the bottom. The first one being respiratory rate, followed by tidal volume, PEEP, and FiO2. So let's run through how you would adjust that. So if you need to adjust one of these parameters, you have to tap it and then use your toggle to change the rate. So let's say I wanna do a respiratory rate of 18, right? It was set at 20, I've switched it to 18. And what I wanna show you here is if you don't accept that by tapping it again, it'll default back to the previous rate. So you see how I went back to 20, reminding you that you always have to accept, otherwise you're gonna just be chasing your tail. So hit 18 to accept, you unhighlight it, and now I'm set at 18. The next one is tidal volume. So for this patient, if we do our calculation, let's say it's a 60 kilogram patient and I'm going at eight milliliters per kilogram of ideal body weight, that would be 480. So if you wanted to adjust this, usually when this one's set, this machine would default to about 500 milliliters. We wanna go 480, toggle it down, accept, move on. The next one is peak flow. That's not one of the four essentials we talked about, but remember that your peak flow usually 60 to 80, sometimes up to 100, and that's really giving the amount of air to that patient. If they look like they're air hungry or stuck on the tube, you might wanna bump that up. But in general, I'm just leaving that at the set rate for the machine. Let's move on to peep. So this peep here is set at eight. Remembering at the lowest, really for the ARDSNET protocol is five, and you're gonna be moving that up, bumping that up based on your auction requirements. For COVID, we're gonna set that starting at about eight. Accept. And then the final one, FiO2. So FiO2, always starting at 100%, right? You put this patient on, 100% you're starting. You can come back five, 10 minutes later, and then adjust your FiO2 and your PEEP based on your oxygen goals and make those changes. But to begin with, really, 100% is a great starting point. So accept. And that's it. Those are the four big parameters all here on the bottom. Just go to them, tap them, make your changes, and accept. The next thing I want to do is show you some of the other features. What are you seeing on your screen? Here you'll see your waveform. And it gives you three different types of the waveform, but basically it's an inspiratory followed by expiration. Inspiration followed by expiration. And so the up or the red is inspiration and the down is expiration. And you can see it's delivering regular breaths on this patient. The next one really is all these numbers here on the side. Well, I want you to ignore almost all of them because they're just giving you some numbers what the machine's set at. The main one I want you to realize is this one here on the side. And this is where it's gonna give you your peak pressure and tell you, hey, if this is alarming and it's alarming because of peak pressure, what is that number? Remembering that we want a peak pressure of less than 35. The reason why this machine is not alarming right now is because, well, on my alarm limits, it's set at 40, so it's nice and quiet right now. But really, that's the number I'm gonna be looking for. This is when you see that high peak pressure or if the machine is alarming it to you, you wanna go through your dope, right? Your dope mnemonic. Displacement, obstruction, pneumothorax, equipment. 
But let's say all that's normal and you don't have any of the dope problems and you want to check a plateau pressure because maybe you now have a patient who's having poor lung compliance or their ARDS is getting worse. The way to do that would be you'd hit this peak pressure on this machine. There's lots of different ways to check that, but I want to run you through the concept behind it. And you just scroll down to would be a P plateau, so pressure plateau. Remember, you want to accept that. And now this is giving me a number, but if I wanted to get like, what is the actual number for the plateau pressure currently on this patient, you need to do what's called an inspiratory hold. And this is the button here, inspiratory hold. And you wanna push and hold that button right at the peak of inspiration. So at the top and end of that red. And you hold it and you'll see, you'll have a little plateau and it'll give me that number for that plateau pressure. I'll wait for it to cycle for this first waveform. You see that plateau there? There you go, I release. And that was that inspiratory hold, and it'll give you a new number. It's still at 37 because this is on this artificial log, but that's exactly how you would do an inspiratory hold to see what your plateau pressure is, which in this case, 37, it's higher than 30, what we want. And you can kind of use that number and make some decisions. Do I need to decrease my tidal volume? What adjustments do I need to make for this patient in terms of their current lung health? And that's pretty much it, guys. This is your basic vent management. Remembering when you turn it on, make sure it's plugged in. Make sure there's oxygen. Make sure you're on volume assist control. Your four parameters, respiratory rate, tidal volume, PEEP, FiO2, how to adjust them, usually with a toggle, and then where do I find my peak pressure and how do I do a plateau pressure?